Hello everyone, I'm Harry. Welcome back to King Kunsan Classroom. Today we are happy to invite Miss Lena to our classroom. She is the manager of Customer Service Center and Chief Brand Officer of King Kunsan Group. Hello Lena, please say hello to everyone in the classroom. Thank you, Harry. Hello everyone, I'm Lena. Today I come here because I want to seek help on insect control. Harry, please take a look at these pictures. We can see that the leaves are rolling up and we can find the insects hiding inside by further checking. Do you know this insect? Yes, Lena. It's a kind of leaf roller. Leaf rollers are the worldwide insects in the family Tuchisidae of the order Lepidoptera. It's named from the characteristic uh, leaf rolling habit of the larvae. Leaf rollers prefer to attack the leaves of fruit trees like apples, pears, and peaches. They also target some ornamental trees like ash, poplar, and oak, as well as some ornamental plants like uh, canna lilies. Okay, thanks, Kari. So, how to identify leaf rollers? Leaf rollers uh, belong to the Lepidopteran insects, so the larvae are caterpillars and the adults are moths. Unlike other caterpillars, leaf rollers primarily feed and pupate within the leaves, curve and uh, web the leaves with silk. Leaf rollers also go through the complete metamorphosis in four stages, egg, larvae, pupa, and adult. Adult moths lay eggs on the upper surface of the leaves or on the fruits. Eggs are laid in overlapping masses so that all the stages are present at any time. Larvae generally grow through 5 to 6 instars before pupating. The most destructive stage for uh, leaf rollers is at the larvae stage when voracious uh, caterpillars carry out their sole purpose of consuming plant matter. There are many different species of leaf rollers. Adults and larvae of many species are similar looking. Distinguishing leaf roller species may be possible based on differences in body color and markings. Adult moths of most leaf roller species are a mottled mix of colors. When resting, they appear bell-shaped when viewing from above. Wings span around three-quarter of an inch. Uh, their wings uh, held uh, tent-like over the back. Larvae are up to one inch and found within rolled leaves. The larvae are typically green with a brown to black head capsule. When being disturbed, the larvae will uh, wriggle uh, vigorously and drop down from the leaves and suspend on the silk thread. So Harry, from above pictures, it seems that the damage of leaf rollers is not very heavy. So maybe it is not as harmful as some distracting insects, right? No, not really. Actually, the leaf provides a cozy shelter and a reliable food source for the growing larvae inside. Leaf rollers feed themselves inside a nest made from leaves, uh, rolled together and tied with silk. Once inside their leaf nests, leaf rollers chew holes through the tissue, sometimes adding more leaves to the nest to keep themselves protected from uh, predators. The feeding behavior of leaf roller larvae gives the leaves a ragged or curled uh, appearance. The larvae prefer leaves, but sometimes they also chew blossoms, fruits, and nuts, causing them to drop or become distorted or scarred. Uh, extremely high population of leaf roller larvae can completely defoliate the trees, and the leaf roller silken threads can cover the whole plant entirely. The following pictures can show the damage of leaf rollers. They are also very destructive. In addition, the feeding of leaf rollers not only directly damage crops, but also easily become the medium of fungal and bacterial infection, causing large-scale outbreaks of diseases. Hurry. According to what you just said, we know that we need to pay attention to leaf rollers control. So how to get rid of leaf rollers? Well, uh, we need uh, integrated pest management for leaf roller control. Firstly, we need cultural control to prevent leaf roller outbreaks. Keep crops healthy is always the best way against insects and diseases. Secondly, monitoring the infestation of leaf rollers for egg masses Larvae and rolled leaves is very important, especially growers should look for folded or rolled leaves among the plants. 
The leaves may be discolored or show some feeding damage such as small and rolled holes in the leaves. The rolled uh, leaves should be carefully picked, unrolled and examined to see if the small green leaf roller larvae hiding inside. When infestation is not very high, we can choose biological control such as uh, uh, parasitic wasps or use the biological insecticides such as uh, Bacillus thuringiensis products or other directing. Uh, due to the short persistency of these biological insecticides, it is recommended to take a second application about 7 to 10 days after the first application. If infestation is high, applying uh, chemical insecticides is necessary. Spinocide can be an effective insecticide to use against leaf rollers but be careful not to use spinocide on flowering plants or right before a storm because it is toxic to bees. If there are a large number of larger larvae in the leaf curls, uh, use a high pressure sprayer to allow the insecticide to penetrate the leaf curls. Then uh, we also have a very good product to control the leaf rollers. It is King's Treasure. So I think you can recommend this product to your customers too. Okay, great. All right then, so this is all for today. Hope this video can help you have a new understanding of leaf rollers. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any more questions regarding to leaf rollers, please leave us a message down here below in the comment zone. And Kim kun -san will try to provide you with more information regarding to the pesticide industry and pest control. Kim kun -san, focus, focus on, on your harvest. harvest.